hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to warp image here in canva let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in canva i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Warping images in Canva, while not as advanced as dedicated design tools like Adobe Photoshop, can be achieved through a few creative techniques. Canva does not have a direct warp tool, but of course we are here to show you some techniques or methods that you can still manipulate images to create a similar effect. Okay, so number one is, I want you to click the project or design that you are working if you haven't already just go to the template section wherein you can start building a design from business template social media template education video marketing print products and more if you have already a design in mind just click on the create a design so you can start from scratch now i'm going to be using this specific image or the thumbnail that i'm going to use after recording this video in our g plus youtube channel all you have to do is go to the edit so there's one way go to the effect section you should be able to have like a wobble or liquify effect here if you can't find this you might want to go here at the app section you might want to type in liquify if you haven't already and press enter click that so you have all these effects so you can achieve the warp image technique all i'm gonna do is select the wobble you see that you have the power to adjust the melt amount all right so you can um adjust it to the right to the fullest melt scale see that you can do all of it wobble amount and wobble scale so you have all of these at your disposal you can also you just smear if you want to just revert it back to the original form and from there you might want to you know try to work around and be creative you're not limited with this effect see that basically that's you can resize the handles to stretch or squash the image slightly giving it a distorted perspective once you are happy with the effect all you're gonna do now is go to the share button here you can simply click on the share download as png jpeg or pdf for printing and if you wanted to share this to your client or to your team members just click on copy link and that's basically it thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video